What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now today is Arms Day and Banshee has those weapons for us. Now I'm not sure about you guys but across all three of my characters I believe I chose at least one of every weapon he has to offer. Well he had to offer package wise. Now I think I did, I'm not certain but we will find out. I mean I've got so many weapons now on me. I'm actually struggling to make space for the weapons he offers but because they're unique perk wise, some of them offer things you can't get on other weapons. I can't help but choose at least one. So let's just see what they offer this week. Okay, the first one was, I believe, was it a hacker pull uh, auto rifle? Indeed it was. What does that say? Zari Nari. Oh, I can't even pronounce that shit, whatever the fuck that says. Uh, 280 attack. This one offers. Uh, the thing is, I wanted high impact uh, standard rate of fire. I'm not too keen on these uh, high rate of fire, low impact weapons to be honest. I mean, I just don't pack that punch in PvP. And that to me are what these Banshee weapons are. They are PvP weapons. I ain't going to use them for PvE whatsoever. I just, I just basically get these to see what they're like in that PvP. Okay, this one's got Danger Close. Um, this weapon gains increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are in close proximity. We have Persistence. This weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. High caliber rounds, hand loaded, and a uh, small bore. Not too great to be honest. What size we got here? RC ranged and GA post. I'm not feeling this weapon to be honest. I just don't know what it is. I just, I just, uh, what's this one here? This one don't look too bad. Um, okay, so we've got small bore, we've got rodeo, and we've got partial refund. That's probably the best I've seen. Let's have a look. And excuse my voice, by the way, I've got a cold coming. I can feel it in my nose, my eyes, and it's backing me up. Oh, what's this one here? We got, um, we got partial refund. We got counterbalance, and we have rifle barrel. Really? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the middle one. I mean, and if these ain't good, at least they're marks at the end of the day. Hey, what next? Okay, the Suros ARI 45. Now, this is the weapon I chose last week. It's actually an amazing, an amazing auto rifle as long as you get mods on it that max out that stability. Uh, otherwise, you can get a better weapon called the answering cord from the Vanguard. So, let's have a look at what this one offers. Um, SPO 57 highlights enemy targets, not bad. <coughs> uh, improved target acquisition, SPO 28, SLO 19. We've got feet stock, increases a little bit of that stability. Feather mag, faster reload, reduced magazine size, reinforced barrel. Don't forget though, range. Range is very important. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, update, I think it was about a couple weeks back now, but I explained range, and the range is extremely important. But I'm not sure I'm going to sacrifice that much stability for that much range, to be honest. And we then have a lightweight and glass half full. Uh, no, I'm not feeling that one to be honest. The one I got last week was a million times better. I think these may just be marks if none of them offer better perks than the one I've already got. SPO 57, SPO 26, and SL on 19. High caliber rounds, a panded magazine. Hand laid stuck, okay, that's not too bad. Quite a chunk of uh, stability there. And unflinching, oh, now that could be quite decent actually. That really could be quite decent. Uh, let's have a look at the third one offers. Okay, SPO 57, SPO 26, and SLO 12. We've got Hammer Forge, improved range, uh, Feather Mag, uh, um, a small bore, uh, single point sling, and gas half full. Yeah, I'm definitely going with the middle one. Definitely. I'm gonna try it out. I don't think, but I don't believe it's gonna be as good as the one I got last week. But still, we'll take it. See what it's like. At least at the end of the day, it will be marks. Okay, we've got the Izumi, Izum, Uzum, RR4, whatever the hell this is. I'm Marlin. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Another one he offered last week, the sniper rifle from a Marlin had or Molin or how the hell, ever the hell you want to pronounce that shit. And it offered look in the chamber. I never actually got that fucking thing, and I am getting owned with it in PvP. So many times I'm getting body shot. One hit body shot in the PvP with snipers, it's unbelievable. Final round's gone, look in the chamber's back. Okay, so sights, we have Corvo and we have the Falcon or Falcon or whatever the fuck that is. 
Um, not great to be honest. Army of One, Snapshot, Rifle Barrel, Unflinching, and Underdog. Now I love Unflinching, but I want a little bit more stability, even though that range is pretty decent as well. Aha, now. This could be quite decent to be honest. Let's have a look what the others offer. Now I may have chose this on another character as well, so I don't probably pick two of these bad boys. Aquila. Uh, Corvo, we've got Army of One, we've got Quick Draw, we've got Handmade Stuff, oh look at that stability, now that's what I'm talking about, Life Support and Last Resort, shame none of these are unflinching, um, what's the third one offer, let's have a look, Falcon again, Corvo, Army of One, Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Clown Cartridge and Shoot to Loot, this one's a PvE weapon for damn sure, uh, nah, I think I'm gonna go with a middle one to be honest. Let's have a look. Yep, that is it. Uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna switch to my other characters and see if I did choose uh, one of the other two weapons. But I'll catch you guys back in a sec. Okay, so I've switched over to my Titan, and I believe I've got three packages on my Titan. Um, not sure which ones I chose though. I can check, but I just can't be asked. Let's just go and have a look. Why not? I mean, it's easier. Okay, so we chose. Oh, so I did choose the primary, the the Haka auto rifle. Now, which was the one I chose on my other character? Was it that one there? I believe it was. So I'm just going to choose that one. Actually, what was this one? Increased ability. This one grows more epic when it's fired. This one's got a chance of yes. Just go with that. Let's just go with that. Oh, we've got the rocket launcher now. We're talking. Oh, yes, now I like the look at that. Grenades and horseshoes. What we've got in this? Uh, grenades and horseshoes as well. Just gonna have to compare these bad boys. Just gonna have to compare these bad boys. Float magwa, heavy pale. Oh, 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 now we're talking. Grenades and horseshoes. Oh, now we are talking. Now that is quite a decent rocket launcher. I haven't actually got a decent. Year 2 rocket uh, launch yet, I still haven't got one, believe it or not, it's crazy, but I haven't. Um, not even going to have a look at that. Grenades and horseshoes, PvP, murderous, murderous, um, no, it's definitely going to be that middle one, was it? Um, I think, or was it? No, was it the first one? I can't remember. Just double check, yes it was, heavy pay, uh, payload, and we got Grenades and horseshoes. Oh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Offers void as well. The old void is there. And what was the third weapon I chose? Oh, it's the sniper again. Um, now, which was the one I chose? And that's the PVE one. You know what? No, 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 no. I've got loads of decent PVE weapons. Sniper wise, um, unflinching. I can't remember which one I chose. Oh yeah, it was this one. Yeah, it was definitely that one. But that stability, let's go with this one. Don't really matter anyway. I'm probably ain't even going to use this weapon for PvP. I'll probably just... Because i got, I got so, I, well, I've got a couple of decent snipers. And because I'm mainly losing my Hunter, my Steel Piece, I'm, I'm just in love with that weapon. So yeah, uh, not too fussed about that. Uh, but at least I've got a decent rocket launcher out of it. Now I'm going to switch to my wall. I can see if I did choose that final package. I'm not certain to be honest, but I, th I know I chose one. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah, I'll catch you guys back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I do have two packages on my Warlock also. Now, I actually bought, I thought that there was a fusion rifle we offered last week. I was mistaken. It's another auto rifle, and it's a Suras. Um, I can't remember. Let's see. Let's just see. Okay, so this is the ARI 41. Um, oh, we got focus fire. Now, I'm curious to find out. Uh, high rate of fire, low impact weapons with that focus fire. I'm super curious to see how that works. I mean, what's the damage going to be like? Uh, what we've got here as well, we've got Feather Mag, faster reload, we've got Fit Stuff, we've got Reinforced Barrel, and we've got Speed Reload with Focus Fire. Um, SRO37 um, and SPO26. Now, I might just choose that, it looks quite decent to me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that weapon, so that might be the one I go with. Um, but this offers nothing great. Hammerforged, Rodeo, um, SPL 57, SPL 28. Yeah, I'm not, I got, I got a Suos AR 
i41 already with max stability so i'm not really looking forward to that well i'm not looking for one of them another one of them anyway so i'm just going to choose this one here um i'm just i'm curious to know about focus fire and high rate of fire low impact weapons oh we've got a, another suros i45 now which was the one i chose last time it was that one weren't it um was it that one more stability and unflinching yes it was indeed so I'm just gonna go with the other one. I mean, this is, I'm not even gonna use it. It's just gonna be legendary marks. But yep, guys, um, that is what Banshee has to offer, all five weapons. And next week, I will be sure doing the exact same thing with all five weapons again. Well, I could choose, I'll, well, next week, I'll probably be able to choose even more. I will rank, well, three on each character, because I'm actually can pick. Uh, so yep, that'll be nine weapons I'll be looking at next week. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I uh, apologise about my voice as well. Like I said, I, it feels like I'm coming down with a cold. And that's what you get for having a kid who goes to school with manky other kids. But yeah, thanks for stopping by as always. And peace out until next time. Peace!